Of all the things that were added to the theme studio, one of my most favorite happens to be one of those innocuous little things that isn't even documented yet. Now we've got the tweak tool and all kinds of other great things, but this is one that was really pretty nice. As always, we've had the icon builder, which or the icon studio, which allows you to basically build icons. So as I drag icons here, this is a well-known feature of the theme studio. But the theme studio is pretty much limited to all of the icons that you find over here. So if there's something that you want to access and use, let's say Glyphish, and you've got these icons, great. It's going to give you what you want. You can calculate your air travel there. Well, I wanted to add in a feature that leverages a lot of what's on the internet. So take a look at this. Over here, I have a website called Icon Finder. Now, it's gone out and it's grabbing a lot of open source and um, Creative Commons icons, very much like what we have in the Theme Studio. I don't have the time to import all of those icons, but Icon Finder obviously does. So if I'm looking for, let's say, a particular trash, I'll just type in trash right there. They have this great little filter where you can filter based on um, the size of the icon. So if I'm looking for a small trash that is uh, 24 pixels, let's go up to 32 just so we have a little bit of a bigger icon. Well, as I scroll down here, what's really nice on Icon Finder is I can click on this little info and it tells me whether it's free for commercial use or Creative Commons or what it is. But I would have to download this icon. But FileMaker 12 added a really new cool feature, which is insert from URL. So watch this. Hovering over this icon, I'm going to simply right click and most every browser will give you this option to get the link, to copy the link, to download, whatever you want. Save the image as, that'd be great, but here we have copy image address. So if we select this option, go over to the theme studio, watch what happens when I merely click into one of the wells in the icon studio. Automatically, I get a URL, URL recognition that says, would you like to capture the image? I just say yes, and boom, I'm ready to go right away. If I wanted these swapped around, I'll just un I'll copy that one, drag that over, paste that one here, and now just adjust it to however it was going to be. I can tell that I've got a really large distance here to go. So there we go. Now we can trash our calculator if that's what you're actually wanting to do. Don't like that trash? Go over here, just copy the image address, come back over, and click out of the field, and then click back in, and say OK. And there you go. You have a completely new icon taking anything that you want, provided it's either Creative Commons and you are going to give attribution, or it's commercial free use. That is a quick way to get a lot of custom icons for your FileMaker solutions. Very cool stuff.